How much do blockchain developers actually earn? Maybe you've heard about how hot blockchain is, and maybe you've seen some numbers floating around out there. But what is the true average salary? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video as a blockchain developer. But I'm not just going to tell you what developers with 10 plus years of experience earn. I'm also going to show you what beginners actually make and everywhere in between. So if you're new around here, hey, I'm Gregory from Dapp University. On this channel, I teach you how to become a blockchain developer. So if that's something that you're interested in, then click the like button down below and click subscribe. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can become blockchain developers. And also, shameless plug, if you want real-time help becoming a blockchain developer, then my brand new program, Blockchain Mastery University, comes out on January 29th. It's very soon. You can click the link down below to sign up for the special launch event. All right, so let's jump into this breakdown. I'm going to draw from two different sources on this, all right? So according to Hired.com, the average blockchain developer salary is staggering. It ranges from $150,000 to $175,000 per year. That's a lot of cash. All right, that's a pretty big range. Um, and that's, you know, source number one. But let's look at source number two. All right, this is ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter says that the average salary is $157,893 per year. And they even provide a breakdown of salary distribution uh, where you can see a lot of people are earning well above this average. All right, I'll talk about the distribution here in a minute. Okay. So again, this is the average salary, the mean salary, where you basically take everybody's salary, you add it together, and you divide it by the total number of people. All right, so let's talk about the median salary. This is going to be the middle number. So according to uh, Janko Associates, I hope I'm saying that right, this is an online uh, recruiting firm. The median salary is as high as $127,000 per year. All right, so it's still pretty high. So that's the mean and the median salary. But now let's uh, look at the distribution, all right, and like try to draw some insights from this. So we can see that there are a lot of people uh, who earn well above the average, even into the $200,000, $250,000 year per, per year range. Um, there's a big spike just right around the average, which is what we would expect. And then another bump kind of down at the bottom of the range, okay? So uh, some insights from this is that uh, roughly one-third of all blockchain developers uh, earn more than $180,000 per year, okay? About 80% uh, earn over $115,000 per year. And the crazy thing is that only 10% of all blockchain developers earn less than $100,000 per year, all right? So anyway you slice it, there is a clear opportunity to earn a six-figure income as a blockchain developer, even as a beginner. So what are the factors that cause this distribution? Like why do some people earn way at the top, some people in the middle, and some at the bottom? Well, there's a lot of factors in play, but I think the biggest one is experience level, okay? So I'm going to give you a detailed breakdown of what compensation looks like based on experience level. And this might help you, you know, determine where you measure up. Are you a beginner? Are you already a developer? Are you already a blockchain developer? This can help you set your expectations, okay? So uh, some insights from this chart are that even a little bit of blockchain knowledge goes a long way, all right? Like I said, even beginner blockchain developers can command uh, six-figure salaries, okay? And also... People who are blockchain experts, a lot of them only have two to four years of blockchain experience and they have deep six figure salaries, you know, 200,000 plus sometimes. Okay. So now let's get a detailed breakdown of compensation based on experience level. All right. I'm going to start uh, with, you know, complete beginners and go all the way to advanced and kind of consider every factor in between, like how much blockchain experience do you have and how much uh, regular software development experience do you have? Okay. So I'll start with complete beginner. This is like zero to one years in blockchain and zero to one years um, in software. Mode. So you have a little bit of experience, but not even a full year yet, okay? So for these complete beginners, uh, you might be surprised that the average salary is still $110,000 per year. There's still a lot of people who are earning uh, you know, 120 plus thousand dollars per year. So the upside is really big um, if you're a total beginner. So next uh, is what I would call a new developer. So this is somebody who may have, you know, a year or two of regular software development experience, but really not, not, not much blockchain experience at all, less than one year, okay? So these people typically earn about $120,000 per year, okay? And there's still a spike up there over $120,000, and a lot of people earn more than that. 
All right, so the next would be uh, what I would call an experienced developer. So this is somebody who has two to four years of regular software development experience, but still like less than one year of blockchain. So this person earns $124,000 per year on average. Um, and a lot of people are earning more than that. So uh, the next is what I would call an advanced developer. And this is someone with two to four years of uh, software development experience and maybe zero to one years of blockchain. Okay, so this person earns $143,000 per year. All right, so now we're talking like pretty close to the average that's reported by uh, those other statistics that I told you. So if you have a few years of experience, um, but still not even much blockchain experience, you're gonna be right there in the average, okay? So you can see a big bump up there in the $150,000 plus range. Next is what I would call like a true blockchain master. This is someone with, you know, six to 10 years of software development experience and two to four years of blockchain experience, okay? So these people earn an average of $153,000 per year. Uh, and you can see a big portion on this graph that's shaded that's well above that, right? Way up into the 200 plus thousand dollar per year range, all right? So that gives you an idea of where you might fall if you have, you know, no experience or if you're a true master, how much these developers make and, you know, where everyone in between falls, all right? And you can find a more detailed uh, breakdown of this on this article that I've published, okay? Now I want to talk about how much blockchain developers make uh, based on their location, right? Where they live. So if you, uh, you know, want to work at a company and you don't want to work remotely, this is what your expectations are, okay? So based on these uh, reports, you're going to see that blockchain still ranks in the top three of every programming field by location. That's a really key point to note here. And we'll see, you know, what, what that salary looks like, you know, how it deviates based on where you live. Okay. So in San Francisco, the average blockchain developer salary is $155,000 per year. All right. So while, you know, the cost of living uh, is high in San Francisco, a lot of times this is a big factor in, in driving wages up but you don't have to live in San Francisco to get one of these jobs, okay? Um, so, I mean, even like search engineer and security engineer are just a few thousand dollars per year above that. And it's a negligible difference when you're talking about that kind of money, okay? So, uh, in New York, they're earning an average of $137,000 per year, all right? Gaming engineer makes a little more, backend engineer makes a little bit less. In London, they're earning an average of uh, about $90,000 uh, US dollar per year, okay? So you can also see how blockchain compares to other developer roles. Um, you know, based on this data provided by Hire.com, you can see that blockchain's been growing at a rapid rate of 517% year over year, all right? This is based on the uh, state of the software engineering report. And uh, this vastly outpaces other uh, fields. And that's one of the reasons that the compensation is so high is because the demand for blockchain developers is really big, but the supply of people that know how to do it is really small, all right? So this is a good indication of why the salaries are so high. So if you want to become a blockchain developer, like how do you do it? Like where would you start? How do you get one of these uh, high paying jobs? Well, I've got good news. So guess what you don't need? You don't need a fancy computer science degree. Now, if you want to get a degree, that's all fine. But it's just, it's good news that you don't need one in order to uh, become a blockchain developer. Okay, so I'll prove it to you. So get, guess who doesn't have a computer science degree? Me. <laughs> But I would put myself in that last category that I showed you with someone who has six to 10 years of software development experience and two to four years of blockchain experience, right? And I got there without, um, you know, getting a computer science degree. I just taught myself from square one. So, but in order to get one of these jobs, you definitely need the skills to pay the bills, all right? You got to have the hard technical skills in order to land a blockchain developer job. But that's exactly what I am here for, okay? So I've created this YouTube channel, this whole resource, DAP University, as a way uh, for you to learn to become a blockchain developer. And there's a few different ways you can get involved. You know, you can watch these videos here on YouTube. Uh, but if you want to take the next step, you can actually join DAP University, okay? So uh, I've got a few ways to do this. Number one is my blockchain developer bootcamp. Uh, you can find a link to that down in the video description. And that's going to be the best way for you to fast track your skills 
and uh, really learn by doing, okay? We're gonna go and build a real world project. Uh, you can learn how to build a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange step by step. I take you over the shoulder, show you how to do that. Uh, I show you all the tips and tricks that I use on my own projects as a real world blockchain developer, okay? And then I've also got my Blockchain Mastery University, which is coming out on January 29th, all right? It's very soon, so if you're watching this video after that, um, then it's already out, you can join today. So uh, what Blockchain Mastery University is, is a way for you to get real-time help as a, uh, on your journey to becoming a blockchain developer, okay? You can interact with other people who are on this similar journey. I'm inside that program helping you master blockchain. So the way these programs are designed is you can join both, all right? Not just one or the other. So those are some good ways for you to get started. All right, so I hope you liked this video. Like I said, I really wanted to create this because... Um, I believe this is the best resource out there to see what blockchain developers actually make broken down by all the factors. So I hope you found this helpful. Um, you know, if you're interested in checking out blockchain, uh, check out those programs that I mentioned. You can always email me. My uh, email address is down below. It's Gregory at dappuniversity.com. Uh, again, subscribe to the channel. Click the like button down below if you like this video. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.